All right. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Here's the deal. So, you know, the Blackstone Dragon is a boss. It's not really anybody's favorite boss, probably. You know, it rubber bands a bit and this, that, the other. But it's, it's a decent boss. There's some fun little mechanics. You got the black hands. You can save spot them. You can splash on them. It's cool, right? But one part of that boss fight is, uh, well, a little less cool. And it's the part where they say, hey, we're going to expose you to lore for literally 45 seconds where you can't attack. It's the flight part. It, uh, you know, it's pretty cool the first time. You learn a lot, some good exposition. But after that, you just got to sit there. You're just waiting. And that's boring. So the deal is, I want to just skip it. Like, what if you could just hit the boss really, really, really hard and then not have to do any of that? I think that would be great. I think that would greatly improve the Blackstone Dragon and ED2 solo experience. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and we're going to go and do that. Today's stream will not be ending until until we get that. So we're going to go. Go to the place, do the thing. Hopefully get a Blackstone Dragon flight skip. I've never done it before, so it should be a fun little speed kill. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be on our merry way. This video is brought to you by nobody. Uh, we don't have a sponsor for this one, but I did want to let you guys know that as of a couple weeks ago, we now have a YouTube Shorts channel as well as a TikTok. The same content gets posted to both of them, and there are uploads going out on both of those channels daily. So if you want to check them out, uh, you're welcome to do so. They're linked in the description down below. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. So if you want to do that, I wanted to let you all know. Links are there. Links are on screen. And outside of that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, team. Into ED2. And, uh, you know, the hardest part about ED2, if you guys didn't know, is uh, trying to figure out if your graphics card is going to survive. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. It takes you nine minutes to kill Veracleth. Okay, sorry. Why did you come to my Twitch chat and flex on everybody? Do you know how rude that is? To all of the gamers in chat that are trying their best? Oh my goodness. Chat, if you guys get 11 minute kills like, like me, don't worry about it, alright? It's fine. No. I promise it's okay. I am proud of you, but yeah, if you could keep the flexing in my chat to a minimum, you know? Damn, this guy's wardrobe is dope. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna play it out. I'm not gonna play it out. I'm sorry. I am once again wearing an unironed shirt, though. If we want it to be a, uh, a recurring joke, we can, we can do that, I suppose. It's time for attempt number one of a Blackstone Dragon skip. Let's get it. Okay. That happened way too fast. No, we need a natty. That phase in like two seconds. We need a pre-phase. All right. Attempt one, uh, not so great. That was weird. Maybe I need to divert? Hmm. <laughs> Best start of all time. You just saw your first RS guy TikTok and you loved it. Pog? And you're not a paid actor? You're sure? Did we take those? So chat, if you know what we're doing now, why we're resetting so much, all we're trying to do is we're just trying to get the boss to phase a little lower HP than 520k. That's it. That's all we're trying to do. Okay, like that. Done. Perfect. <laughs> Wait, it's 420. We got no 100k previews. <laughs> okay, that's nasty. This might be done right now. This literally might be done right now. <laughs> Alrighty, team. That was so sick. This is done. <laughs> this is actually done. This is literally over. 
Goodbye. <laughs> okay, that was actually really easy. <laughs> Wait, 212. That's actually pretty fast. Um, I, I think what we've learned is we can now solo ED2 and not have to worry about the lore phase. We just need a, a nice little pre-phase. Okay. <laughs> No, honestly, for me personally, and here's the thing, no offense to, to anyone that does enjoy RuneScape lore, like, I think the lore is good. There are just times that I don't feel like subjecting myself to lore. I would much rather perform a lore skip than an actual lore situation. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lore skip. Now, let's check the PVM record sheet and see what the record is. I'm guessing someone's got, like, a 130. That would be my guess. If, if I've got a 2-whatever, someone's probably got a 130. Um, boss, like the boss. Blackstone Dragon Solo. Apply. Yeah, 130. Makes sense. Hey, we'll take it. One of the faster kills submitted to the sheet. We'll take it. Very cool. I will say, though, that was really fun. And unlike the Ambi skip that took, like, a lot of timing, that actually felt like you could do it consistently. Like, if I was doing an ED2 hour on a task, I would definitely do that every time. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, that's a piece of cake. This could be a very short video, <laughs> I think. But uh, hey, we'll take it. We should give this a little, a little watch. Okay, so. <laughs> Fight starts, I'm just debuffing the boss. Sunshine, I use Divert here because I just want to get a Dren, but I don't want to actually do damage. So I'm using weak abilities on purpose. There's the Tsunami. There's the Fasoa spec. And then here, I'm going to Limitless Tendrils. And then I am going to activate my Dragon Slayer Sigil. And the trick here is the boss phases at 520k, right? So what you want to do is right before 520k, like 521k ideally, you want to drop a ton of damage right off rip so that in the time it takes to phase, you get some extra damage off. And basically after this Tendrils, I hit Omni Power and Wild Magic. And I'm just going to try and drop both of them. And then there is the Omni Power Wild Magic and it takes the boss all the way to 420k. So we got a free 100,000 damage out of that pre-phase. So already things are way, way easier for us. Also worth noting, I'm using Vuln. I'm on a Slayer task. I've got the Dragon Slayer Sigil and I've got the Dragon Slayer perk as well. We clear the hands. We did this fairly slowly, but it's all good. Um, on the last hand, I use Natural Instinct just to give me some slightly better adrenaline building. I should have sunned a little earlier here. I think that was a bit of a mistake. Um, I cast Magma Tempest first here because you can get a free auto attack out of Magma Tempest. So my free auto was uh, Smoke Cloud. Which I think worked. Throw a Vuln Bomb. And then we just sunned as soon as we possibly could. Now, I think I probably activated my Dragon Slayer ability a little bit early here. Um, and it would have been better to do it like right along with my Tendrils here. But the same thing, I take off Soul Split here because I've got the Darak Relic. So I want to be juicing a little bit. And then we're just hitting the boss. And with the sigil, my auto attacks from the Fasoa spec are literally hitting like five, six, and seven Ks. So yeah, then I'm just spamming ABS, regular DPS rotation. And yeah, that was that was gaming. I think we had some extra time there actually too. <laughs> Overall though, just a, a really fun little speed kill. Uh, I would say I would recommend doing this way, way more than I would recommend going for a... Um, an ambi skip. The ambi skip was like actually really, really hard and very precise. This was just like kind of hit stuff and yeah, this is a lot more realistic.